Um, embracing NATO, standing four square, this is grown up stuff as well, with the government on Ukraine. It's not quite a clause four moment as with Tony, but it's significant. It's important. It's what Keir stands for. It's where the country on the whole is. Putin is a thug, a bully uh, and a dangerous kleptomaniac. Uh, unfortunately, he's got a red carpet welcome here in London, especially from Boris Johnson, because the Tory party depends so heavily on Russian donations. Mm. And that's it's what you would like to hear him say. Yeah. from where you stand in the Labour movement. Well, well, Do you believe it? Because he used to stand four square before, behind Jeremy, trying to get him elected, and Jeremy wanted out. No, I mean, Je Jeremy, we, I don't think Labour ever stood on a platform of leaving NATO. I mean, that was never, I think, the policy. If it was, I think the party would have split right down the middle. Jeremy is who we know. I mean, he's never seen uh, a policy of defence that he liked. Uh, he's never been particularly critical of pretty miserable left-wing mm. dictatorships around the sure. world. Uh, we, we know that. That's okay. But does it matter that he and Diane Abbott say no. today that this no. is not credible or it's wrong? No. Uh, forgive me, it really isn't. I, mean, I think there's a lot of criticism about how everybody's handling Ukraine. The Ukrainian government keeps saying they're not going to invade. We don't believe this. But every five minutes, Boris Johnson says again, the invasion is imminent. He's running around a bit like my dear old friend Liz Truss in her black fur hat doing, doing a sort of Disney World impersonation in Red Square, when in fact it was very warm, unseasonable weather. I mean, all the Russians were there in some light jacket saying, well, who's this English lady in, in her big, big fur coat and fur hat? And then when she talks to the Russians... Uh, the, the, the horrible Russian foreign minister, Mr. Ra Ra Wavrov. Lavrov. Uh, la I'm pronouncing it the Russian way. Well, Lavrov. Wavrov. Oh, sorry. He says, he says to her, well, are you really saying that Russian troops can't be in Rostov and in Varenches? And she says, no, no, they must withdraw uh, immediately. And the British ambassador has to pull her yeah. and say, uh, sorry, Secretary of State, they are actually in Russia. So... Uh, I mean, there's a bit of a problem where you don't know core geography when right, you're a secretary.